Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss another aspect of the simple Keynesian model which is popularly known as the balanced budget multiplier. Now what does the balanced budget multiplier mean? The balanced budget multiplier basically tells that if the government takes into consideration an expansionary fiscal policy where it is uh, increasing the value of G and at the same time it is increasing the tax such that the amount by which G is increasing is equal to the amount by which T is increasing and the budget surplus situation between one equilibrium and another remains unaffected then the amount by which the Y value changes in the economy that is called the balanced budget multiplier. Now, in order to understand the balanced budget multiplier, we need to know some concepts as far as the government's budget is concerned. For any government, the source of income is basically the tax which the government collects from the households and from the firms operating in the economy and the government expenditure that the government does for uh, different public works like maintenance of law and order, construction of roads, dams, buildings, bridges and so on and the transfer payments these two constitute the expenditure side of the government's budget. So the government's budget has got the income side which includes the tax revenue collected from the households and the firms and the expenditure side includes G and TR where G is the government expenditure and TR is the transfer payments which are unilateral flows of payments. Given these two, now if we take into consideration the budget surplus of the government, the budget surplus basically refers to the situation when the income exceeds the expenditure. So we can say that T minus G plus TR, this is the government's budget surplus. As I've already stated, during the balanced budget, the budget surplus the situation between one equi uh, equilibrium and another remains unchanged. So we can say that delta BS will be equal to delta T minus delta G minus delta TR that is equal to zero. Now another important point to be noted regarding the balanced budget multiplier is when the government implements such an uh, expansionary fiscal policy it doesn't change the transfer payments so this component is equal to zero as this component is equal to zero so delta BS equal to zero basically implies delta T is equal to delta G so the amount by which the government is increasing the G the government is also increasing T by an equivalent amount. Now given these conditions, now if we uh, show the equilibrium in the economy, we know that the economy at equilibrium has Y equals to AD. Now as it is a closed economy, so the aggregate demand is made up of only three components, uh, which are C, I and G. This C shows the consumption expenditure of the households. The I shows the investment of the firms and G is the government expenditure. There is uh, no net exports component because it is a closed economy. As we already know, the consumption function is of the type C bar plus MPC into the disposable income plus investment, which is exogenously given plus the government expenditure. Now, this can be again written as MPC into Y minus the tax plus I bar plus G bar. Now, if we consider the total differential, we will get delta C bar plus MPS, uh, MPC into delta Y minus MPC into delta T plus delta I bar plus delta G bar. Now this component delta I and delta C bar, these two components will be equal to zero because when the government is implementing such a policy, there is no change in the investment and also the autonomous consumption or the minimum subsistence level of consumption remains unaffected. So we can show that delta Y is equal to MPC into delta Y minus MPC into delta T plus delta G. Now, as we have already shown that in case of balanced budget, delta T will be equal to delta G. So we can replace this delta T with a delta G and hence we can write delta Y into one minus MPC is equal to delta G into one minus MPC. This one minus MPC is basically equal to the MPS. So this can be canceled from both sides. And finally we get delta Y by delta G equals to one. This is the value of the balanced budget multiplier in case of the simple Keynesian model. So when the government is implementing a balanced budget change and it is increasing G and T by an equivalent amount in such a situation, it will be seen that the amount by which 
the G is increased by the government, the Y value at equilibrium will also increase by the same amount. So this is what the balanced budget multiplier in case of the simple Keynesian model is. Now, if we compare this BBM with the normal government expenditure multiplier that we get in case of a simple Keynesian model, there is a difference. The normal or the standard uh, government expenditure multiplier that we get if we denote it as alpha g its value is equal to 1 by 1 minus mpc now this 1 minus mpc is mps which is a fraction line between 0 and 1 so the numerator being greater than the denominator this value is greater than 1 because in the denominator we are having a proper fraction but when we are taking into consideration the balanced budget multiplier, the value of the balanced budget multiplier is exactly equal to 1. So basically the balanced budget multiplier's value is less and the standard government expenditure multiplier, its value is more. So this is what the basic difference between the two multipliers is.